Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add closed captions to video automatically in four easy steps. So let's say you have a video and you want to create closed captions for that video. Well, creating closed captions can be very time consuming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up the process by using Veed's online video editor to add closed captions to your video automatically. And here's the four steps that we're gonna cover in this video with timestamps in case you want to skip ahead. First, we're going to cover how to import your video into Veed's online video editor. Then I'm going to show you how to automatically generate closed captions for your video. Then I'm going to show you how to edit your closed caption text and timings. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to download your closed captions as an SRT file so you can upload them to social media platforms. And with that being said, let's get started. So like I mentioned, the tool we're going to be using is an online video editor called Veed and the links are going to be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, the first step is to click the new project button in the top right. And then here we're taken into Veed's video editor. And this is where we want to upload the video that we want to add captions to. So I'm going to click on upload the files. And then I'm going to select the video that I want to add closed captions to and click open. And as we can see, it's now imported into Veed's video editor. And if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. As you can see, we have my video within Veed. Okay, so now we've imported your video into Veed. The next step is to add closed captions to your video automatically. To do this, we're just gonna click on the subtitle tab in the left toolbar, and then we're going to be using the auto subtitle tool to generate the captions for our video automatically. So here we need to select the language that we're speaking in within our video. In our video, we speak in English, so I'm gonna select English, and then I click on Start. And then here, Veed is gonna take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes to automatically add closed captions to our video. So as you can see, now it's finished because this is a short video snippet. And if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media. As you can see, our closed captions have appeared in three different places. We can see them in the subtitle editor on the left. We then have them on the actual video canvas and then we have them within the timeline. Okay, so now we've generated our closed captions automatically. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the text and timings for each closed caption. So if you play your video through, you want to make sure that you check the text and check that everything is correct. If we take a look at my very first closed caption, as you can see, instead of saying, hey everyone, it just says everyone because I kind of slur the two words together. But to change this, all I have to do is click on the closed caption that I want to change. And then I'm just gonna type out the text as if it was normal text anywhere else. So, hey everyone. And then I'm just gonna play it through for the rest. Everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. I'm your host, Alec, and in this- So this is looking pretty good. And now I just want to adjust the timing for one of my closed captions. So at the beginning, again, it's the same one. Hey everyone. Now there's a few different ways I can adjust the timing. The first one is to just click and drag it straight from within the timeline. If not, I can place the playhead where I want it to begin. And then I can find the same closed caption within my subtitle editor, and then just click on the beginning stopwatch. And if I do this, as you can see in the timeline, the closed caption then adapts to where the playhead is. And then if we take a look at the very end of my timeline, we have one word on its own right here. So in the subtitle editor, I'm just gonna copy the contents from this closed caption and paste them into the previous one. And then just do the same thing with the actual time then just delete the last one. And then I'm just gonna paste the time here. And that is another way that you can adjust the timing and duration of your closed captions. So now if I play them through. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking as you can see, we have our closed captions with the correct text and timings. Okay, so once you're happy and you've made all the adjustments to your closed captions that you want, here's how to download them as an SRT file. To do this, all we have to do is head into the subtitle tab once again, and then here we have the options tab, and at the bottom of the options tab, we have download subtitles, and here we can then select the format that we want to download them as, and we're going to download our closed captions as an SRT file, which stands for subrip subtitle file. And basically this is the most common format that will allow us to upload these closed captions to platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. So if I click on download, now, as we see, I have my closed captions that have been downloaded. And now I can take these closed captions and go and upload them along with my video. And here's a quick bonus tip. Let's say you have your closed captions and you actually want to hard code them into the video so you can post them to platforms that don't actually accept SRT files, such as Instagram. Well, here's how to permanently burn the closed captions into your MP4 video. So to hard code the closed captions into your video, as we can see, we can currently see what they will look like on the video canvas. Now, if you want to change the style, first of all, we're just gonna head into the style tab under subtitles. And then here, as you can see, we have a bunch of different options that we can do to change the style and customize our text. We can change the font. We can then change the font size. We can change the font color. And then we also have a bunch more, such as the less spacing, the line height, letter case. 
And then we can also choose a bunch of presets from the bottom. One of my favorites is this one right here. It's uh, white text with a bit of black drop shadow. Or if not, we have this one right here or this one with the see-through block in the background. We can also change the color for that just like so. And just to mention, I can also click and drag them and move them around and rotate them on my video canvas. And then to burn them into the actual MP4 video, all I have to do is click on export in the top right V then starts to render my video with its closed captions burned into it. And then I can go ahead and download that MP4 video with its new hard-coded closed captions. And that is how to add closed captions to video automatically online using V's online video editor. If you have any questions about automatic closed captions, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.